What is up guys, Wolfgang here. So today I want to make a video on the Logitech Pop Keys. Now, once again, this keyboard is not mine. I did not buy it with my own money. This time it was once again loaned by a friend, as was the Logitech Pop Mouse. This is clearly not my style of keyboard, but I wanted to make a review on it, so I got it for a weekend, and I have some thoughts I want to share. The style of this keyboard is really flashy, I'd say. Definitely more than what I buy. Stuff like the Logitech MX Keys Mini, and so on and so forth. However, I do think it does have its place, as some people do prefer this kind of style instead of a muted, boring style as I would you normally buy. What's interesting is, although it's flashy, it does not have RGB, so unfortunately, the only lighting this keyboard has is on the three top keys for when you're pairing, and those are the only lights this keyboard has. That may be a drawback, that might be a deal breaker for you, uh, depends on where you use your keyboard. And lastly, the keys themselves are round. And as you can see, they're removable, of course. I believe it's a stem design from MX. I have no confirmation though. But they are removable and they are round, which is interesting. I have never seen a round key myself, in person at least. So typing on it was quite interesting. Now then, this keyboard has red switches, which means they're linear. They go straight down with no uh, sort of tactile bump or a clicky sound, they just go straight down and what you hear is the keycap hitting the frame itself. They're not exactly quiet, but they're not loud either. Honestly, it sounds pretty comfortable in a office setting, at least the sound does. I would not feel comfortable taking this visual explosion into a office, but, well, that is up to you. It does have lots of travel. I could have gotten the measurements, but the truth is you guys can look it up. Uh, it travels fairly deep in comparison to what I'm used to, although this is not specified as a deep travel keyboard, um, it does go fairly deep, especially comparing it to a chiclet style. The typing experience on this keyboard is pretty nice. Honestly, it feels pretty much like home. You don't notice the keys are round um, unless you misplace your fingers, but for the most part, it feels pretty comfortable, actually. One negative about this keyboard is the battery life. Not that the battery life itself is bad. I believe it might even be better than other Logitech products, but as you can see right here, it uses batteries themselves. It uses, I believe, two AAA batteries, which is unfortunate as I do personally prefer rechargeable, although for the more uh, eco-friendly crowd this might be a positive. I honestly will not opine on that. I am not sure if it is more eco-positive or not, but um, that is a negative for me, specifically. Now then, as for extras, the software is one of the largest ones. As you can see, uh, Logitech Optimus Plus in this case, which I'm using, you can edit several of the function keys, and you can edit, of course, the emoji keys on the right. Now, how often will you edit these emoji keys? I have no clue. Really depends how much emoji you use. Um, I personally only use like two, so I'd probably remap the other three to some macros or something similar. They do include a few other keycaps that we, you can uh, change the emoji to the respective one. Um, I would enjoy if they also included some black key or some blank keycaps. That way you could map it to what you want and, you know, do your best attempt at representing it in a keycap. But you have all these options of emojis and you also have keyword shortcut options as well. So this is not gone to waste if you don't use emojis. This keyboard does come with a Logi Bolt receiver, which, as I've said in several other videos, I do quite enjoy. This thing is better for um, reliability as it will not lose connection as easily as Bluetooth and it is much quicker than Bluetooth, which means that this could, I do not recommend it personally, but it is doable. You, you could use it for gaming if you wanted to, which is great. Honestly, if you like this keyboard, you don't really need to get another one, I guess. Um, but yeah, pretty solid that it comes with one of these. As for price on this keyboard, it is priced at $100, which honestly, in my opinion, is a pretty good price for this, if you like the aesthetic, of course, because it is a really solid keyboard 
with a very flary design, which is not my style for sure. But if you enjoy this style, I think this is an amazing keyboard for you. Realistically, my only two annoyances are the style, which is not my favorite, and that it uses AAA batteries. So if you don't mind those two, or if you prefer those two, then this keyboard is great. The one th Another thing it does not have is adjustable feet, which is definitely not necessary per se. It's a great plus, but the keyboard already does have its own angle. So it isn't quite, it is not uncomfortable. I would recommend perhaps getting a wrist rest. That way it feels more natural when you're typing to have your wrist at the same level of the keycaps as it is, a, is, it is quite raised from the table and could cause some strain in your wrists. Like most of my keyboard reviews, this keyboard is meant for a very specific kind of person who really enjoys the design, who wants a solid keyboard with a solid typing experience. Honestly, this keyboard is great and I recommend it to anyone who can get over the design and the batteries. So, thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, that way you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the notification bell that we get notified. And thank you very much for watching guys. Have a great day.